Hello students. Welcome back into the another session of CS02 problem solving methodologies using programming in C. As all of you know that we are discussing about our last units as per the prescribed syllabus of Saurash University. That is unit number 5 called pointer and file handling. Apart from these two sections we are dealing with pointer first and completed the topics like introduction to pointer, use of pointer in dynamic programming and pointer to variable with some practical examples in which we have introduced pointer for variables, operator, decision making statement, looping control stru structure and pointer with looping and decision making statement. Now we are going to start about this selected topic called called pointer to array that means we'll introduce the concept of pointer for array how can we use pointer into the array how pointer interact with array and their value that we are going to learn actually this is the practical session but before that i would like to reintroduce the definition of array in front of you even you can say that it is a revision of that particular topics here I'm just giving you the brief description or you can say the definition of array array is a group of elements with same name and same type Again, I am repeating my words. Array is a group of element with same name and same type. That is called as array. Now, in this, we have to introduce the concept of pointer. What is the definition of pointer? Pointer always points to the address not to the value this is the definition of pointer now let's make a simple program where there is an introduction of pointer in array so for that let me open the last file that i have created from that I am removing all the logical lines apart from the structure of C that is hash include standard input output dot h hash include console input output dot h void main opening and closing bracket contains get ch now first I am declaring our array variable which have the size 5 that means it stores the content of that means it stores the content of user into the separate 0 to 4 location inside the memory and then I am creating a one pointer variable after declaring the necessary variables first I am instructing user to enter their value by writing the message enter your value scan app before scan app there is a 4 i is equals to 0 because all array always start storing their value from 0th location that means i is equals to 0 i less than 4 i plus plus here i need to declare i also then inside the looping control structure there is a scanf function which read and store the user's value into the desired location of array by writing 
n person a of i now i am pointing the point uh, where uh, i am pointing the pointer variable called p at the zeroth location of a ray that means the first location of a ray after pointing to the first location of a ray again i am writing our looping control structure where it starts from 0 to less than 4 times every time it increments but during this looping control structure it prints the value of a pointer variable let me check for the syntactical error first as you can see that there are no syntactical errors we'll execute the code and let's enter any five values say for example my first value is 4 6 1 0 and over here let's write pointer p 6 2 1 0 here I to write less than or equals to because I have started with 0th location if I write 5 then I have to write only less than there is a one mistake 9 3 2 1 6 1 2 3 4 5 values are there only the first value is printing so where the problem is we need to increment the value of pointer by 1 let's see will it work or not it's there 3 2 1 5 and 6 now let's modify this particular program properly here I'm just giving the message value then slash n let's execute the code first value is 2 then 5 then 0 then 1 and then 8 uh, message is 2 5 0 1 and 8 that's correct no need to write uh, percentage let's write this slash n after percentage d let's re-execute 3 to 4 1 8 uh, sorry 9 and 0 3 4 1 9 0 right whatever the value I have entered is displayed onto the screen but it is displaying onto the screen with the help of pointer actual values are stored inside the array but that is printing through the concept of pointer so this program is perfect now let's see this particular code in notepad for better visibility this is the program first write down the definition then I will explain you again write a program write a program to store the values in one dimensional array and print that value using pointer again I am repeating my words write a program to store the values in one dimensional array and store and print that value using pointer so this is the code as you can see first we have written the two statement contains the library necessary library statement like hash include standard input output dot h and hash include console input output dot h then there is a main executable statement then after there is an opening and closing bracket in these two bracket three variable three different variables I have uh, I have mentioned first is the one dimensional array called a of 5 then second one is the pointer variable called p 
and then there is a third variable called i after writing clrscr statement there is a message enter your value and the looping control structure called for will take total five values and stored inside the array location called a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 and a of 4 say for example if this particular loop repeats for the first time the value of i is equals to 0 so ultimately the array location is a of 0 for example over the location called a of 0 i am storing the value called 5 then on a second repetition location is a of 1 i am storing the value called 2 a of 2 value is 6 a of 3 value is 4 and a of 4 value is 0 so these are the actual value which i have stored inside the one dimensional array using this particular loop now what i am doing in a very next step i am pointing the pointer variable called p at the first location of array that means a pointer variable is set at the first location of my array over here the pointer variable is set then this looping control structure again starts from the 0th location and repeat up to the last location every time it prints the value which is stored on that particular location using this pointer p variable that means over the output first it will print 5 after the label called value that is value 5 on second repetition here what i have done i have incremented the value of pointer by 1 that means the pointer is moved from the 0th location to the first location clear so at that time the value which is stored on that location is 2 again it repeats the value stored on this location is 6 so value 6 then again it repeats value stored on this location is 4 again it repeats value stored on the last location is 0 so 5 2 6 4 and 0 will be printed onto the screen so whatever the input is there you will get the same as an output but this entire logic is fit using a one dimensional array and the pointer one dimensional array stores the value and pointer prints the value this is the core part of this particular program let's practice more let's try to implement another code but i am keeping value storage as it is for this particular code so i am going back into the c editor i'm opening that particular program called 16.c now what i am doing is instead of printing the values let me comment it that particular section one more variable i am declaring over here called sum that means after i there is a variable called sum equals to 0 and then i am writing in second for loop sum equals to sum plus pointer p let's check uh, and after the completion of loop there is a printf statement printf sum 
परसेंटेज डी हियर देर इज अ कंफ्यूजन इंस्टेड ऑफ सन सम आई एम राइटिंग टोटल एंड देन आफ्टर कोमा आई एम डिफाइनिंग द वेरिएबल कॉल्ड सम लेट्स चेक फॉर द प्रोग्राम लेट मी रिमूव दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन पार्ट ऑफ प्रीवियस प्रोग्राम बिकॉज वी नीड टू रिमूव इट लेट्स सेव एंड एग्जीक्यूट द कोड लेट मी फर्स्ट एंटर द फाइव वैल्यूज आई एम एंटरिंग ऑल फाइव वैल्यूज एज ए टू दैट मीन्स टू फर्स्ट टाइम अगेन टू 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 एंड टू सो टोटल विल बी टेन दैट मीन्स टू प्लस टू प्लस टू प्लस टू एंड प्लस टू इज इक्वल्स टू टेन ना वी कैन चेक फॉर द अदर वैल्यूज ऑल्सो लेट सेंटर फाइव टाइम्स वन ओनली सो इट रिटर्न फाइव over here now you can enter any value from the keyboard say for example suppose you add 2 plus 6 plus 7 plus 9 plus 1 total will be 25 so what does what is the functionality of this particular program the functionality of this particular program is first it will store any five values and then it will print the sum of all that five values on to the screen so write down the definition of this particular program write a program which store any five values into the one dimensional array and print the sum of all five values using pointer again i'm repeating my words write a program to print write a program to store any five values in one dimensional array and print sum of all five values on to the screen clear so this will be the program for the prescribed definition let's move on let's practice more about pointer with array now in next program what i am doing is again i am keeping data storage logical line as it is in my existing program then once the data is stored first here i am writing if pointer p modulo 2 double equals to 0 if this condition is true that means the given number is even let me clear you one thing before going ahead this particular program counts the number of odd and even elements from the given five numbers so first i am declaring two variables called even is equals to 0 and odd equals to 0 and then in this looping control structure called for i am writing pointer p modulo 2 double equals to 0 and into the bracket if this condition is true then the value is even else value is odd so every time i am incrementing the counter of local variable called odd and even by 
and then after the closing bracket of second for loop here i am writing total number of e1 percentage d comma e1 printf slash n printf total number of odd percentage d comma odd let's check for the syntactical error there are no syntactical error let's execute the code let me enter any five value uh, suppose i am entering three just count it three is odd then two even both one one then six even is two then four even is three and then suppose i am entering seven then odd is two that means total that from this entire input there are two odd values and remaining are the even values so total number of even is three that means two six and four these three are the even values and three and seven these are the total two odd value and that is displayed onto the screen let's go into the notepad for better visibility this is the code first write down the definition write a program to store any five values in one dimensional array and then count how many values are odd and even again i am repeating my words write a program to store any five values in one dimensional array and print how many values are odd and even just pause the video and write down the steps up to this else because i need to scroll down the entire screen once you finished up to this else the remaining portion is like this so write down this portion once you finish the entire program just check it by yourself for the syntactical errors and if everything goes proper just note it down into the book so i think these are the sufficient examples for demonstrating pointer with array even we have demonstrated pointer within array now in next lecture we'll introduce pointer with structure in today's session we have introduced the concept of pointer with array same like this we'll introduce the concept of pointer with structure so i hope all of you have a clear cut idea about how can we use the concept of pointer with array Thank you very much students for listening me and have a nice day